how to update uh, autopilot uh, controller like AP44 in my case and NAC 2 computer. It's there, I don't want to show you. In my case, I received this message on my Lawrence that two software updates require it, and this is about this controller and the computer. I lost recorded part where I told about the message here. Uh, the message was that you cannot update uh, the controller and the computer through this unit. So if this would be Lawrence, uh, this Elite 70i update, then you could receive uh, the new software through Wi-Fi and do this update here. Uh, I think so. Actually, I don't remember. Yeah. Well, and uh, I suppose that uh, the same way you can receive uh, software for uh, the computer and the controller through Wi-Fi and update through and me and it work because it sees them here. Uh, but not, yeah. Uh, it was the message on the eye icon there that you cannot do this. And actually, I'm quite surprised how does it know that the update is required. If I remember correctly, it told me about requirements to uh, for update even before I connected this to Wi-Fi. So I don't know how it knows about the new firmware. Then, if you have some details, then let me know. Let's continue with the update. And guys, you upload new software and do updates through the USB port. Where is the USB port? It's actually on the back side of this controller. Well, I didn't know this uh, because there is like some service port. Well, I was thinking something for the manufacturer. Okay, it's normal not to know. You don't know, you come here, I think that you also don't know, and I didn't know before. So, uh, I'm lucky to have open space there, but if you don't have open space, you every time will need to unscrew this, and it's easy to damage the screen here on the top. It's very sensitive, screws are close to the display. Yeah, sorry for you guys. In my case, it's easy job, I hope it is. First time with you. Yeah, it's normal. You also come here for, uh, to do this first time if you watch this video. As you can see, I was need even to remove this seat. And uh, yeah, I have USB here with two files and I have this screw drive. I don't know if it will fit. Let's see. And here is this service port, guys. Yeah, I will put the link where I review this uh, display and probably there will be the better view. Now I need to do this job. Now it's not suitable. Something like a coin would work better. Where do I have coins in my garage? Well, as you have seen, I overcome this user-friendly interface design with that stuff. And now we are going to update. We go to the menu, system, files. It see this mass storage even with Windows files. Interesting, what do I have there? Something, yeah. And then we just click Let's start from the controller. I don't know actually from which file to start. Yeah, and just confirm.
I cut off one and a half minutes of the process and one and a half minutes of this uh, screen uh, simrad uh, uh, screen saver. I don't know how you call this. So don't be scared, afraid that um, you see this for one and a half minute. First time when I started, it was the same. Yeah, so some uh, the boot process or something like that. And also you have seen it request to remove the USB. So I need to place it again there for the next file. You can see controller gun from here. Yeah, now we will update uh, the computer. And it's interesting that you update it also through the controller. No. Well, at least they have USB there, not micro SD. Micro SD, can you imagine how difficult it will be uh, on blind uh, set there? So at least USB I can put there. Okay, I was able to insert it being blind. And now let's go there to the menu and update it. No. Uh, you can see the process is a little bit different. It didn't ask to remove the flash and reboot. So, and it still see it here. I will first try to remove the flash and then I will try to reboot the computer. I have it here. <laughs> well, guys, yeah, I was troubleshooting so long, but actually look, the file that I have is 06 and yeah, it's the same uh, version that uh, that was here, I guess, and available something about seven. And I don't know how it happened that I downloaded it. I think it was the latest on the website. Yeah, well, it means that it still connects through Wi-Fi to Internet to know that uh, the new version is available. I don't know how it knows. Well, that's quite interesting because I think I have seen this message even before I connected to my Wi-Fi. So how does it know that there is the new version available? Well, I don't know. So I am in rush to explain what has happened. Uh, I found the new software. I will get back to this. Then I plug the USB when everything was off. Then I switch on autopilot and and Mia, which means this controller and that one and actually when I power it in then the upgrade process began that's that is one of the way to do it actually so 
Now let's see what happens. Yeah, well, definitely we updated again this controller. Don't do this. If it's already updated, then either remove the file or uh, don't power it uh, after you insert the USB. You don't need this again to update it. Yeah, so as for the software for the computer. So, guys, it wasn't an, a glitch in my mind about that the software 07 is not available. Actually, yeah, true. When I uh, go to download, it is not available here. But again, uh, your nice forum, which is, I guess, the whole truth, the truth, whole, the whole truth, I think. Yeah, uh, again, helped me. So, and there was the link for this 07. I don't know how I would find it on Simrad website. And how this unit knows about it, I don't know. I have no idea. So, because it's quite strange. But okay, we updated that one. Don't do it this way. Don't power it when the flash is there. You don't need to update it again. Now, let's finally try to update it. I mean the computer. La 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 Yep, yep, yep. Well, you have seen the process is quite a little, not quite, a little bit different from when you update from the same to the same version. Yeah, but you don't need to reboot, you don't need to remove USB, and everything is up to date, guys. So, guys, I hope you got uh, some interesting information from this video. You got the point about how you update, what you should do and what you shouldn't. And uh, it was, uh, I don't know, entertainment for you or just bare information. I don't know. Well, guys, what I want to say, don't forget to give me likes, your comments and subscriptions. Thank you. Bye.